Who even cares what Jim Carrey thinks? He's a Hollywood comedian from Canada, not a policymaker, and his career isn't even relevant. Watching his music video, uh, Cold Dead Hand, reminded me of the skits that he did when he was on the show, In Living Color. And Jim Carrey would play these like moronic characters with these exaggerated facial expressions and ridiculous voices. Bringing that clown-like sense of humor to political satire was the biggest miss. His application of that humor didn't cross over, it just fell flat. In addition, some of the devices he used as an attempt in an attempt to satirize firearms ownership were played out and untrue. The first one that I want to bring your attention to is his grand generalization that firearms owners are uneducated southern redneck men who just want to kill and frankly it's ignorant and it's played out. A second tactic that Carrie tries to use is attempting to identify firearms ownership as a means of compensating for a lack of male sexual prowess. He even goes so far as to take this anatomical diagram and replace the male genitalia with a revolver. I'm a female, young college student. These, none of these stereotypes fit me. They're just ridiculous and outdated. I'm not trying to compensate for anything. In fact, I prefer my female anatomy. And my interest in firearms has absolutely nothing to do with my sexuality. A third device that Carrie attempts to use um, as a means of making fun of firearms ownership, is by trying to paint gun owners as these hapless idiots who are uneducated and who have no concern for children. Those of us who are firearms enthusiasts know just how off-base and untrue that is. Firearms enthusiasts are college students like me. We're teachers, doctors, stay-at-home soccer moms, um, lawyers, even actors, entertainers, and comedians. In fact, the demographic of firearms and ownership is all-encompassing. We're normal people who recognize that the Second Amendment was written for all of us. A fourth and more subtle device that Carrie attempts to use is through casting his band members as the murder victims Abraham Lincoln, John Lennon, and Mahatma Gandhi. He really missed the mark with that one. Those three individuals weren't killed by guns. They were killed by murderers. Furthermore, Mahatma Gandhi, in his autobiography released in 1948, said, Among the many misdeeds of the British rule in India, History will look back upon the act of depriving a whole nation of arms as the blackest. Effective satire often has a grain of truth. But I wasn't offended by Jim Carrey's cold, dead comedy because it lacked any grain of truth. Rather, what he did was attempt to revive cold, dead stereotypes and further politicized the deaths of children.